How's it going my YouTube friends? In this video I'm going to help you make an informed decision on your next hard drive purchase. Backblaze, a uh, backup, online backup service, has made a study on different hard drives that they use on their servers, on their data centers. And this is the website for Backblaze, just wanted to show you guys. They charge five bucks a month and they do backup for Mac and PC. Well, they did an article here. They made an article where they compare Hitachi, Western Digital, and Seagate hard drives to see which one works the best. Now, this company has 25,000 drives, which 12,000 of them are Seagate, 12,000 Hitachi, 2,800 Western Digital and only a few that are Toshiba and Samsung so they did not include Toshiba and Samsung on this study because it does it's not gonna, it's not gonna give them enough uh, statistical data to do that so uh, the failure rates are right here as you can see Seagate is the one that has the most failure rates they're up their 1.5 terabyte hard drives are up to 14 percent annual failure rate can you believe that holy crap and Seagate I thought was one of the best ones but as you can see they're the ones that fail the most they're the cheapest for sure they're the cheapest but at the same time they won't last you that long and it looks like the best performing hard drive is Hitachi but it is one of the most expensive ones so I guess you get what you pay for when it comes to hard drives now sitting in the middle is Western Digital and it's weird because uh, Hitachi is the most expensive, Western Digital is alright, and Seagate is the cheapest. And as you can see, now we see why. Okay, the price does uh, have an effect on the failure annual failure rate, as we can see here. So if you're going to purchase a hard drive, I recommend you purchase Hitachi. You may pay a little bit more, but the failure rate is a lot, lot lower. It's lower than two percent. All right. If you want to save some money and go with Seagate, you know, maybe the first year, uh, this article talks about how Seagate runs, runs really, works like a workhorse at first, but then after a while, it actually starts to degrade, and it will fail on you, up to 14%, uh, with the 1.5 terabyte can fail. 14% is a lot, guys, a lot, all right. Now, this article does talk about the specific models, how much they have, average in years, annual failure rate, and all that. If you guys want to take a look at it, I will post a link on the description of the video for this article so you can check it out, guys, and uh, look at it more thoroughly. But I wanted to share this with you guys. That way, you know, I can help you guys make a more informed decision when you're going to purchase your hard drive. Now, it turns out that um, Backblaze uses... Uh, Seagate hard drives and that is because they're actually cheap right and they don't they say that if Hitachi was cheaper they would use nothing but Hitachi drives but you gotta think about it guys this is we're talking we're talking about 25,000 hard drives if if you Suppose that each hard drive is a hundred bucks. I'm, I'm exaggerating. I think they're less than that. But if there were a hundred bucks a piece, you're talking about 2.5 million for 25,000 drives. If my math is correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's correct. So that's why they go with cheap hard drives. These big companies with data centers is because, I mean, they're expensive. These Hitachi drives, the ones that work really well, that have a uh, really low annual failure rate they're expensive and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they spent a million or more minimum a million in, in these hard drives 25,000 hard drives yeah so that's why they do it that's why they use Seagate is because they're cheap and they will last I mean 14% annual failure rate is not that bad if you got that many hard drives so they can take the hit that's why they still using Seagate like I said, I will post a link on the description of the video 
That way you guys can take a look at it yourself more thoroughly. But if you're going to buy a hard drive, I recommend Hitachi. If you buy Seagate, just keep in mind that you will you do have a 14% risk. If you buy the 1.5 terabyte, you will have about a 9%. It looks like a 9 about a 9% uh, failure rate if you get the 3 terabyte and about a 3% failure rate if you get a 4 terabyte if you go with Seagate. Now if you go with Hitachi, it doesn't matter what size you get, you're below 2% failure rate. Alright guys, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new videos, new helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching that video. If you want the complete computer repair mastery course where you'll learn how to fix your computer, save money, and it has over 8 hours of HD footage where you will learn how to speed up your computer, fix blue screens, remove viruses, much, much more, visit my website pchelpforbeginners.com. I will post a link on the description of the video for my website. You can also sign up on my website and I will send you weekly newsletters and new products coming out and I can help you out with your computer. Also in my website there is iPhone and iPad training courses, there's recommended software, laptop repair courses, the recommended software has to do with software to speed up your computer, antivirus software, backup software, and even how to fix LCD monitors and how to fix your console, place stations and your Xbox. You can sign up using your Facebook or go ahead and type in your name and email. Sign up guys and I will see you in my next video.